Team 1501, Chris Elston, and Team 3487, Mike Taylor. All right. The Woody Flowers Award celebrates effective communication in the art and science of engineering and design. Dr. William Murphy founded this award in 1996 to recognize mentors who are strong leaders and who inspire and empower using excellent communication skills to help their students become team members and understand the challenges, opportunities, and satisfaction involved in the discipline of engineering and design. For 2017, first we'll recognize one mentor at each regional and one mentor from each district championship with the Woody Flowers Finalist Award. At the first championship in April, one member will be selected from this year's finalist and re-nominated prior year finalist who will pre be presented the 2017 Championship Woody Flowers Award. Each Woody Flowers finalist will receive a blue banner for their team to display. We believe this blue banner emphasizes the importance of the partnership between the students, the team members, and everyone who is a part of a first team. So we have 11 candidates from the, who are nominated for this award. We're gonna have a championship, a, a state championship, Woody Flowers award winner in Huntington in a few weeks, but we have nominations. And I think we have a PowerPoint maybe? We do have a PowerPoint, thank you. So we have some pictures and some names. So I want the, not, the candidate to stand up and I want their team to cheer loudly for them to stand up and wave to everybody. So, from Team 234, Mark Dobbs. <laughs> team 292, Russ Pogue. <laughs> team 868, Paul Blankenbaker. Team 1646, Nick Camferdam. <laughs> Team 1024, I didn't, I didn't forget you guys. Team 1024, Jerry Sabota. <laughs> Team 1747, Betsy Baxter. Team 3147, Raymond Freistack. <laughs> Team 3176, Nathan Heidegger. <laughs> Team 2171, BC Spear. Sorry, sorry about that, Brant. There he is. Uh, okay. Team 3940, Rick Pease. <laughs> and Team 4580, Chris Noble. <laughs> so everyone, let's please give it up for these awesome mentors. Thank you. Some mentors in Indiana. It's good stuff. Thank you for nominating all of your mentors. So ladies and gentlemen, we are, we are here. Welcome to the Alliance Selection after a very long two days. Got a little longer to go, but it's going to be awesome. We've had a great competition so far with plenty of exciting qualification matches. It will soon move to the playoff tournament where eight alliances will compete against each other to become the FRC champions here in Tippecanoe. Teams have been scouting in preparation for this, and I'm sure all of the student team representatives gathered here are prepared with their list of picks, correct? Yes. But before we can start the playoff tournament, we need to create eight three-team alliances. 
The alliance selection process is fairly simple. We'll explain it for those who don't know how it works. We will create eight alliances with the first pick going to the highest ranked team. After the number one seed makes their selection, the next highest ranked unpicked team will make their selection. We continue this process until Alliance 8 has made their first pick, and then we'll begin with the second round of selections with Alliance 8 and work our way back around to Alliance number one. After an Alliance captain extends an invitation to join their Alliance, we will need one representative from the invited team to come onto the field and either accept or decline that invitation. There's only one rule during alliance selection that you need to remember, really. If a team declines an invitation to be selected by an alliance, they may not be selected by any other alliance. The declining team does not, however, lose their right to select if they are an alliance captain. So for example, if the number one ranked team picks number two and they decline, number two keeps their right to be an alliance captain, and number one will need to extend an invitation to another team. However, if number one selects number two and they accept, we will slide all of the other alliance captains up one position and then move the ninth highest ranked team into the selection process. This is where we see strategies play out as teams look to partner with other teams whose robot complements their own. Each alliance captain is looking to make the strongest possible alliance to play out the rest of the tournament. The eight alliances will compete in the playoff tournament, which is a best of two out of three competition. And remember, the tournament winning alliance receives an automatic invitation to the World Championships this April, along with the Chairman's Award, Engineering Inspiration Award, and Rookie All-Star winning teams will be announced at this afternoon's award ceremony. So there's a lot on the line. And now we're gonna meet our teams. All teams have been ranked based on their performance in the qualification matches. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our top eight teams. Can we get those up on the uh, projector? Go. We got it. Okay, so we're going to have our number eight seated team. Uh, as, as people come in, please enter through the front here of the field, uh, closest to the boilers. Yeah. So we're going to have our number eight seed, that is team 4103. From Avon, Indiana, Rob Orioles. So now we have our number seven seed with a ranking score of 1.33. That's 3940. From Kokomo, Cybertooth. Our number six seeded team with also a rank score of 1.33. That's 1529. From Indianapolis, Cybercar. Our number five seed with a rank score of 1.41 is 292. From Rusheville, Panther Tech. Our number four seed with a rank score of 1.50 is 234. From Indianapolis, Cyber Blue. Our number three seeded team with a rank score of 1.58, team 461. From West Lafayette, it's the West Side Boiler Invasion. Our number two seeded team with a rank score of 1.66, 1501. They're from Huntington, team Thrust. And our number one ranked team 
with a record of 10 wins and two losses and a rank score of 1.83, 4272. There from Lafayette, it's Maverick Boiler Robotics. Okay, so here we go. Team 4272, who would you like to invite to your alliance? Team, team 4272 would like to ask Team 1501 to be the goose to our Maverick. Team 1501, do you accept or decline? Team 1501 happily accepts. They accept. So we will need all the other alliances to shift one position. And that means our number nine seeded team becomes our eighth alliance captain, and that's team 3559. They're out of Jasper, Indiana, the Thundercats. <laughs> okay, team 461, Westside Boiler Invasion. Who would you like to invite to your alliance? Team 461 invite Team 829 to join our alliance. Team 829. Team 829's out of Indianapolis. That's the Digital Goats. Team 829, what do you say? You most definitely accept. Excellent. All right. Team 234, who would you like to invite to your alliance? Team 234 would like to ask Team 1018 to join our alliance. Team 1018 from Indianapolis, the Pike Robo Devils. 1018, what do you say? We proudly accept your offer. All right, they accept. All right, Team 292, who would you like to invite? Team 292 uh, would like to invite 1024 to join our alliance. 1024. Team 1024 is from Indianapolis. That's the Kilobytes. We absolutely accept. They accept. Okay, Team 1529, who would you like to invite? Uh, team 1529 would like to extend an invitation to 5188. 5188. Team 5188's out of Terre Haute. That's Area 5188 Classified Robotics. Team 5188 gratefully accepts. All right, they accept. Next, we have our number six seed, 3940. Who would you like to invite? Team 3940 thinks we'd work gear right under pressure with Team 4982. 4982. Team 4982 is out of Fort Wayne. That's Olympus Robotics. Team 4982 graciously accepts this esteemed offer. Okay, our number seven alliance captain, that's 4103. Who would you like to invite? Team 4103 would like to invite Team 1018 to join us in the airship. They're already open. 1018 has already been selected. Then instead we would like to... Uh, has yes, they got the invite. 1741? Uh, we would like to invite Team 1741. Team 1741 is out of Greenwood, Indiana. Red alert. Uh, team 1741 gratefully accepts. Yes, they accept. All right, our number eight seed. Team 3559, who would you like to invite? Team 3559 would like to invite Team 3147. Team 3147, out of Munster, Indiana, Munster Horsepower. Team 3147 is geared up and ready to go. All right. 
So we'll give them a second to talk because the number eight alliance gets to pick again and we will go back around to the number one seed. And can we get the list of remaining teams again up on the board just so we can see who all is left? So those are the remaining teams up there if you need that. A lot goes into these picks. All that scouting, all that strategy. They're ready, let's find out. Uh, team 3559 would like to invite team 1747. 1747. Team 1747, they're from right here in West Lafayette, it's Harrison Boiler Robotics. We at, we at Team 1747 would love to boil, boiler up with you, fuel your alliance, but we don't want to recycle old jokes, so we're geared up and ready to go. Nice. Congratulations, number eight alliance. Okay, 4103, number seven alliance, who would you like to select? Team 4103 and Team 1741 would like to invite Team 868. Team 868, they're out of Carmel, Tech Hounds. We totally accept. All right, congratulations. Number seven seed. Let's go to our number six seed. Who would you like to pick? Team 3940 and 4982 would like to invite team 3947. 3947. Team 3947's out of Knightstown, Indiana. It's the last Crusaders. Team 3947 graciously accepts. All right, we have our number six seed. Let's move to our number five. Who would you like to select? Team, well, the Alliance of 1529 and 5188 would like to extend an invitation to 5010. 5010. Team 5010's out of Fishers, it's Tiger Dynasty. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's a yes, I think. Let's see who our number four alliance would like to select. Team 292 and 1024 would like to invite 64 and 98 to play with us. Team 64 and 98 is a rookie out of Newburgh, Indiana. That's Castle High School. Sixty-four and 98, what do you say? Team 64 and 98 greatly accepts. Congratulations. Number four seed. We'll move to our number three alliance now. Who would you like to pick? Uh, team 234 and 1018 would like to ask Team 4926 to join our alliance. Team 4926 out of Columbus, Indiana, Galactic. Team 4926 gladly accepts. Excellent. All right, let's go to our number two seed here. Who would you like to pick? Teams 461 and 829 would like to invite team 141 to join our alliance. 141 is from Holland, Michigan. That's Woba. Uh, I'm 
behalf of Team Mormon 41, we are grateful for Indiana welcoming us to this district. Who's your partner from up north? Woba. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations. All right, so this will be our final pick of the Alliance selection. Before we do that, let's give all the teams a big round of applause that have played here today. Just a really good event all around. We will start matches at 420 for the eliminations. 420. Who would you like to pick? Team 4272 and 1501 would like to select 447 to join our alliance. 447. Team 447 is out of Anderson, Indiana. That's Team Roboto. Team 447 gladly accepts. All right, we have our eight alliances. Now there's still a chance if you are in the next eight highest ranking unselected teams, so if we can get those, the remaining teams up, uh, back up on the board. So 1646, 46, 4926, 64, 51, 38, 65. Uh, wait, this isn't completely updated because 141 has been picked. But basically the next eight teams should not pack up their robots uh, because if a robot becomes damaged, each alliance is able to pick a robot from that alternate pool. All backup teams must now confirm with the lead queuer their availability to participate in playoffs if called upon. The lead queuer should be standing off the field, so just make sure that uh, is happening. And alliance captains, please stay for a moment to meet with the head referee. We'll see you back here at 420, and let's really just make this competition awesome. Let's blow the roof off this. I know it's been a long day, but we're gonna have an awesome alliance tournament. <laughs>